All right, what does a Syrian refugee, a victim of domestic abuse, and a mother who lost her son to a drug overdose all have in common? Well, in his new book, author Daniel Maurer says they all use what he calls spiritual assets to maneuver through it all. And Daniel is here to tell us about the book. It is called Endure, The Power of Spiritual Assets for Resilience to Trauma and Stress. Um, great to have you here with us. Thank you it's for joining here, us. Brian. Thank you very much. So when you say spiritual assets, what are we talking about here? Well, that was actually a... Uh, a piece of terminology that I coined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think anybody else has actually used the term spiritual and asset together mm -hmm. like that, but basically all they are are virtues. Mm. Um, things like honesty and acceptance and gratitude and love and how those things um, allow us to bounce back after stress and trauma. Mm -hmm. So when people buy this book, when they look inside, I know there's some pretty incredible stories mm -hmm. uh, that are within these pages. Right. Um, tell us about the book. Well, the book itself, it took, um, almost three years to write. Mm. And a lot of that had to do with the interviews that I had to do of the different people. Mm -hmm. We have a story of a Syrian refugee, um, uh, woman who's living here now in Minnesota uh, that was a victim of domestic violence. Yeah. Um, we've got my story in there um, and a few uh, others as well. Um, mm -hmm. Hunter, his uh, name is, uh, he was an army, army officer mm -hmm. and um, dealt with his PTSD and the, the struggles that he had um, when he was in Iraq and, and mm. Afghanistan, he used to overcome them uh, something called the Cherokee Harmony Ethic too. Mm. And so in, in the book, what I had to do is interview all these different uh, people and somehow piece together what's the, uh, the connecting um, really peace yeah. between their spiritual assets and their resilience. That is their ability to bounce back after their own traumatic yeah. events. So all these people kind of utilizing these different things as right. ways to maneuver right, right. through all Precisely. of these, these incredible yeah. experiences that they've been yeah. through. Um, what, what's the, the biggest message that you want people that read this book to walk away with? I want them, uh, readers, to understand that and see themselves in, in the stories that I share. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody's got stress in their lives. Right. I mean, it's part of the human condition. Mm -hmm. For me, this is stressful. <laughs> <laughs> but you're but, doing you know, a good I'm doing job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, but uh, trauma is a, a completely different thing. You look at um, recently what happened in Las Vegas and also uh, the news that you had today in Maryland. Yeah. Um, you think of just this in incredibly traumatic events, uh, not only for the people who have to undergo that, but, but for their families a afterwards. Yeah. And um, not just in shootings, but trauma is also something part of the human condition. One of the things I found, though, is that each of the individuals uh, in this book, and also uh, many of the people that I've spoken with that have undergone and went through that trauma, mm -hmm. everybody has the power to be resilient. Mm. And that's really a, a gift that we have uh, given to us by our creator, uh, I believe, is that we have the ability to overcome, to endure. Mm. Well, it's powerful stuff, um, incredible stuff within these pages, and, and we appreciate you coming by here today to talk about Thank it a little bit. Thank you very much. It's yeah, uh, so if you want more uh, information on this, if you want to buy the book, I know you can buy them on Amazon, also barnesandnoble.com, so you can go check it out there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll be right back. Stay with us.